try in the next minutes to explain you what is the IGF Academy. And uh, therefore, we have a small uh, PowerPoint presentation and a video. Is that okay? Here are the countries around the world where we are present. As you can see, all five continents, Australia, America, Pan American continent, but also, of course, Africa. Actually, in Africa, a lot of countries. It is a lot of countries. They take very seriously the education, not so much in Asia, and of course, in Europe, more and more countries. Can we go to the next? No, it's a video. <laughs> By educating one person and sending him into the society of his generation, we make a contribution extending a hundred generations to come. The Academy is the teaching branch of the International Geo Federation.
high fitness population you knows a lot. By adding scientific subjects, we put it together with the knowledge of judo, and at the end, they come out with a product which is professional. And when they say, I want to teach judo, I have a certificate from the International Judo Federation Academy, and it is classified as a fourth level European qualification. At that level, they know what salary you will be getting. This is our job, to be able to help our uh, judoka convert into professionals. It's about the 100 Kodokan techniques. We are looking in level one that everybody is able to demonstrate, to compare, to explain what is the difference between Haretsuri Komiyashi, Sasaituri Komiyashi and Izagruma. It sounds similar, but they are different. What is Tanya Toshi, what is Yokuruma, what is Suranage? Why? This is level one. Plus Nage no Kata. In level two, we take one technique and we are looking for this technique to have different movements, different taisabaki different kumikata, different combinations, renzokuaza, renrakuaza, transition to newaza, counter technique. And level three, it is about periodization, long-term address development, how to prepare a team for Olympic Games, or how to prepare an athlete for his career. You can see here the products of the academy in different ways. We are delivering, we are delivering judo not just for level one, level two, level three, also for the referees, we have a certificate for Nagiwaza and Katamewaza, which now the Olympic referee already have done. This is in Zagreb and in Budapest. We are looking forward in the next two years from a list of 729 referees to see how many are active and the referees are active. I speak about the international and continental referees. And from the active referees, that everybody comes here in the academy. We deliver judo for management. We have one course which is designed to lead a club, to lead a federation, to be a member in an organization which deal with judo or with sport. We are delivering also self-defense, judo for police. Together with the Kodokan, we are working for Kata and currently we are the largest examinator of Kata in the world. I speak now about Nage no Kata and Katame no Kata. In the future we are going also for Kimono Kata, Kodokan Shin Jitsu, and Juno Kata. Can you go to the next one? You see the continent. We have almost, now we have more than 100 countries. When the presentation have done, we have, been, we have been under 100. Now we have more than 100 countries where we are present. You can see the continents coming. Asia not so strong. 
I'm also worried because if uh, the Chinese and the Indians start to take academy, then I don't have space in this graph you know, that came out here. Yes, please. Um, this is level two. I mentioned before, level one, one of the techniques, level two, how to train the technique. Thank you. Management. We are very surprised, as I mentioned, Africa is taking very seriously. Of course, if they do education, it means food for the family. It means a lot. Next one. Here we have um, some, uh, some documents. Here is the application procedure. Member of the International Judo Federation is the National Federation. And therefore, you cannot apply as a person. It is the National Federation who make the uh, documents for you, who is recommending you, because we don't know who are the people. You can see here the possibility to organize in a country. In the beginning, we, when we started the academy, we were thinking about to invite from every country one, two judo, uh, students. But then later on, Turkey asked us, can you do in Turkey? Why not? So we start to do it in Turkey and we realize that actually we educate around 100 coaches in Turkey and also later in Georgia, not in 50 years, two per year, but actually in two years. Next one. We have here the questions. There are multiple choice questions with uh, four answers, three answers, sometimes two answers. And um, there is avail we have the availability now in 10 different languages. It's just a question of, of um, uh, agreement with the Federation, for example, to translate into Polish language, and then you can have it in the Polish language. And then, in, uh, now we have 13 modules of level one. You can study from home. You stay home, you can continue your job. Every week one exam. If you pass 60% every week, then you are invited to the final examination. It is one week. In this one week, we have a theoretical examination, we have a Nagiwaza examination, Katamiwaza examination, and Nagino Kata. There are four exams. Actually, three exams and one test. Next one. Everything what we are asking <coughs> in the examination, it is before the program. We don't ask something we haven't done before. Everything what we deliver, this is what you get later on in the examination. In the end, we have here two diplomas. One is from the International Judo Federation, and that diploma, in this case, it is from the University of Hungary. But what I have to tell you is this. Can we go to the next one? Next one. You can see the feedback form. Next one. Starting this year, the International Judo Federation has a recognized high education institution in Malta. The goal is in one or two years to become university. That means in the future we are even now one of the top sports in the world, but in the future it looks like we are the only one sport who can deliver as an international judo federation a high education starting from the instructor finishing with PhD doctors. Any other questions? You can see here, I don't know if you are familiar with the Bologna agreement and the levels. Here start the higher education. And level one, two, and three, we have seen before, Professor Cosma on the table calculating the credits. So we have done, we managed to be accredited that actually what we deliver, it belongs to the higher education, which is here, level five. This is master, this is PhD. This is where we are. You can see the subjects. One week per subject. It can happen that in one week you have a competition, it can happen that you, you have uh, another priorities. Uh, you can do week after or week after. But anyway, in the end, you have to pass each of the subjects now with 60%. If you stay by 60% in the future, we don't know, but now it's 60%. If you pass by 60%, then you are invited. And also, in the final examination, for example, you will get for 30 modules in level 1, you get 65 questions. And you have to pass 65 questions with minimum 60%. We had actually last week in Italy, 
was one lady, level two, 100%. They are taking very serious. Very. We had in, uh, in another continent a lot of 90%, 90 plus percent, which shows us that actually the people are really learning. It's not just home, also when they are coming. Next one. This is the small calendar for the next year. 22 weeks are already full. In addition, for me, come, are coming also the Grand Prix Grand Slam Master World Championships. We try to do in the periods where our competition to don't do any 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 uh, academy uh, courses. But the rest, as you can see, before meters we go to South Africa. Two weeks in Dominican Republic, two weeks in Turkey, Georgia, it will be questions and it's already confirmed. We are in Hungary for two weeks, one week in Slovenia, Latvia, we are doing level one and level two in Latvia, also in Zambia, it's confirmed already. Then, um, when it's written available, it is already Venezuela. We just, I just got now the confirmation that level one and level two, yesterday in China, the president of Venezuela to the Federation agreed to do it there. We are two weeks in Italy. Indonesia will be not, will be, it is a question sign, it's not decided yet. But we will be in Tunisia, Bahamas, and we'll be not one week, but two weeks in Oceania. That's the job. I, I cannot see Poland. <laughs> no. good, good answer, not yet. I like it, it's very professional. My message to you it is, if you are not doing, other countries are doing. It is in your hands, it is your decision. I think that the board of the Federation, after this weekend, we have some discussions how to manage, not to send one or two coaches to the course, but how to manage to get a course in Poland. So, I have no problem. A group of approximately 40 to 50 people, we met also in Tunisia, 63 people. But, not like here, yesterday and day before, in a fantastic bazaar. If you come to the academy, you have the fantastic right to don't talk for one week. Nobody talks. Nobody makes pictures smiling and I wait for nobody. You do or you go out. Very simple. If you want to educate 60 people on the map, deliver 100 techniques in less than one week to examine, you cannot start talking and waiting and don't tie in the belt. If you understand me. Here was a very light version of the academy. This is not it, it was for small children. But I guess your faces, you want to come, I said, yes. You want to challenge me. I'm waiting for you. I will be there. If there is any open questions, let me know. Um, for sure, it is the first information you get. You will get later on different information. You can go to the website, you can speak to the colleagues from other countries, especially uh, the referees. They can meet uh, colleagues. They have been already in the academy. Exchange information is not complicated. What we are asking, in level one is basic, yeah. is brown belt knowledge. Now the difference of brown belt and brown belt is huge. We had in the USA students for them and they could not deliver the techniques. And we had in Africa almost black belts and in one week amazing examination. In Georgia it was one student more than 120 kilograms. In Newaza, which in Georgia it is white paper, nobody talks about Nawaza. In Chidaoba they don't have Nawaza. He delivered on examination over 90%. We watched each other, it was Saturday morning, I will not forget, it was fantastic cold inside and outside, winter, and he came and delivered, wow, wow, everything in Japanese, not in Georgia, not in Russian, no, we told him in Japanese and he delivered, which shows us it is possible. <laughs> It is possible, it's everything in your hands, everything here. You want to do it or you don't want. And then you can be official brown belt. Real brown belt. Not Christmas belt, not <laughs> birthday belt, not friendship belt from the club, federation. We know. We know everything. And then Nagi no Kata, oops, then you first done. Very official. If you do Katame no Kata, then you are a real second then. With Nagi no Kata and Katame no Kata, you have both Rangori no Kata, which actually, it is enough to train Judo, because you understand the techniques and you understand the principle of the techniques. It is up to you, it's up to the Federation, and I really hope to see you, part of you, all of you, in the Academy.
Here we go to the next one. <laughs> Thank you.